Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I'm glad you're here today. I thought I would bring you along today on a run. It has been pouring off and on so I'm hoping that I don't get rained on while I am out filming this but I thought I would bring you along with me as I run and walk just to kind of loosen my legs up today and tell you a little bit about how my marathon training has been going. I've had people asking about that and I give little updates in my monthly updates, but just kind of give you a bigger picture of what I have been doing. So let's talk a little bit about that. So I started marathon training about uh, midway-ish through 2020. I had already decided in my head I was going to run the 2021 Little Rock Marathon. I kept checking the marathon webpage for updates on when they were going to start registration and it kept not being updated and not being updated, but I decided I was gonna stick with the training anyway and wait and see what they were going to do because at that point, the whole world had shut down due to COVID and we were all kind of waiting to see what was going to happen. But I decided that I was going to train anyway because what was it gonna to hurt to be marathon prepared anyway? So I started looking at how I could start increasing my mileage and working a little bit more on drills and just making sure that I was moving in some way every day. So, I started out very slowly. Um, I am not naturally athletic and I have to kind of take baby steps through everything because throughout my entire life, I have always gotten injured very easily and take a very long time to recover when I do get injured. So there was a lot of run walks and a lot of walking on days in between runs instead of running every day and not much strength training because it kind of scared me. But I slowly started kind of letting some of those fears go. And before too many months had gone by, I was doing strength training fairly regularly, realizing that I kind of enjoyed it, especially upper body exercise. And my upper body has always been my weakest point. So that was kind of fun. So that was a, a real learning curve for me. So once I felt more comfortable with having some sort of exercise every day and adding strength training onto it, then it was time to overcome my fear of speed drills. I'm just not a fast runner. Um, there are some people that just have that natural ability and I am not one of them. And working on speed drills was always kind of scary to me. I would much rather work on distance and endurance. Those are things that I excel at. Things like hills and stuff like that where I can take my time and just outlast everything, that's where I'm good. But getting faster, not so much. But then I decided to work on a 5K time trial. And if you're going to get faster over a short distance, then you have no choice but to work on your speed. So I learned that speed drills were not going to kill me. They're not the most fun that I've ever had, but I can do them and they do in fact work. I didn't hit my time trial goal, but I was super close and I'm pretty confident that I can get it in the future. But it was after that, that I realized that I was now at a point in my fitness where I could start running at least 5K every day and on my rest day just walk so that's what i am now doing so taking a look at my current training schedule on mondays wednesdays and fridays i take things kind of easy with a one mile warm up and cool down and a 5k in the middle just taking things easy on tuesdays 
I work on a nice 10K base and kind of work on a tempo or I'll turn it into a progression run. And on Thursdays is when I do speed drills and hill repeats. And I will switch back and forth or sometimes find a way to do both within one workout. And then of course on Saturday, that is my long run day. And I follow that up with a nice easy walk on Sunday for recovery. So let's talk a little bit about how I've been approaching my long runs. And I started out with just trying to make sure that I could comfortably run a half marathon. Uh, before COVID hit, I had just hit a PR for the half marathon. And so I was using that to build off of and making sure that that half marathon distance was solid with me and that it was something that I could repeat, not just that weekend. And so what I will do is the way I have it set up now is I'll do maybe about a 10K run. I'll do one weekend if I can to do a trail run since I have now added that into my regular running schedule. I have one in which I increase my longest distance every month. And like I said, I started out with that half marathon distance and every month I would just add another mile to it. And now that I am closer to the marathon, I am now adding two miles so that my longest run before the marathon is going to be 24 miles. And I can definitely make it to 26 if I can make it through 24. So that's not gonna be a problem. And then the weekend after that, usually around a 10K run again, just to kind of give myself a chance to recover, but still get a nice run in. So I worked all through 2020 to be ready for that. And finally, they opened up registration a few months late, but they were able to open it up and I registered. Normally the Little Rock Marathon is held in March. So I was preparing for March of 2021. It wasn't until towards the end of 2020 that they announced that they were not going to be able to safely hold it in March and that the next available opening that they had in the calendar was going to be in November of 2021. So I had spent an entire year just trying to get ready and now I was going to be almost another year before I would actually get to run the race. So it's kind of, what do you do at that point? I didn't feel like my training was wasted in any way. I just kind of took it as an opportunity to do more, to make sure that I was definitely solid on those longer double digit runs. I was going to make sure that I could get through it without completely dying. And so that was my focus for the next few months. So I kind of backed off from the distance. I was almost up to about 18 or so miles when they made the announcement. And so I backed it back down to the half marathon distance and just kind of worked back up from there to make sure that I was absolutely solid on everything. Now, because I had done all of that training and then retraining after that, that was when I decided to go ahead and take the jump into trying out trail running. It's something that I had been wanting to do and was just too nervous to try it, I guess. And I just felt like with all of the training that I had done that I had a little more confidence in my abilities. And so it's something that I tried out and really liked. And so it's something that I'm kind of exploring and getting more experience in even now. So even though it was definitely a setback with them pushing the marathon to November, it wasn't the end of the story. It just expanded the story. Although I knew I ran the risk of burning out before I was fully trained for the race, it was a, a risk that I was willing to take just to make sure that I was absolutely ready.
And so as it stands now, with roughly six weeks to go before the marathon, I feel that I'm a lot more prepared for it, oddly enough. Um, of course, I've had more time to prepare for it, but I think mentally I'm a little stronger than I would have been a year ago. And I think that uh, a lot of the strength training that I did is really gonna help carry me through. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep up with it so much lately due to massive time constraints on my part. But I do feel that with the little bit that I've gotten in, just the fitness that I have built up so far is really gonna help pull me through. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with my chances of making it to the finish line than I ever have with any race before. And I think that that says a lot about just taking baby steps and taking extra time because most people are gonna train for a marathon in say four months or so, which I possibly could have done, but I don't think that I would have had the confidence in my training that I've had in putting many more months into it. And like I said, just taking those slow steps because again, not a natural athlete and I really have to work for any amount that I can accomplish. And just having this extra time really has been a blessing. So I'm staying positive about it and I am ready to face the marathon once it gets here in November. So there's just a little bit about my training for the Little Rock Marathon, what's happened and where I am with it right now. So if you found this informative or helpful, why don't you let me know down in the comments, is there a marathon that you're training for right now? Why don't you let me know about it? As usual, make sure that you have hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the running content that I have coming out all the time. You can also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description and you can find me on all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad you could be here and I can't wait to see you next time. Happy running.